Hey everyone, my name is Rob and my channel name is Play More Games and today we're going to go over the top 5 reasons why I suck at the game DayZ. Yes, I know there's probably more than 5 reasons, but in today's video we're just going to go over the top 5. To be honest, at first I wasn't sure if I was cut out for this game, but the more I played and the more I realized I love the thrill of the challenge, even as an older player, so I've stuck with it and I'll keep trying to improve. So grab your gear and let's explore the top 5 reasons why I suck at Daisy. Number 1. Multiple f***ing zombies. So I've been playing DayZ for a little while now and I have to admit, I'm not the best at it. The reason for my failure in the game is my ability to effectively deal with zombies. I know I can hear you all laughing, but hear me out. I have a love for all things zombies. I love watching zombie movies, I love reading zombie books, but the zombies in DayZ are something else. At this point, I can typically handle one zombie in DayZ, but as soon as another shows up, it's game over. And believe it or not, I don't enjoy fighting zombies. I've tried everything, avoiding them, running from them, hiding from them, even shooting them, you name it. Oh no, Ron really went, oh Jesus. But nothing seems to work when I'm up against two or more. When I first started out, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just running around, hoping I wouldn't bump into a zombie, but with everyone's input and comments, I've started to slowly learn. I've been watching tutorials, reading tips and tricks, and practicing, but still, nothing is working. And no matter how many times I die, I just keep coming back for more punishment. I'm not sure if it's because I'm not used to the keyboard controls, or if I just panic when I see a bunch of zombies, but something happens in my brain and everything falls apart. But don't worry, I won't give up, I'll keep trying, and I'll keep learning, and who knows, maybe one day I'll get the hang of it. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to take on multiple zombies and come out on top. Or maybe I won't. Either way, I'll keep playing, and I'll keep laughing at myself, and hopefully you'll keep laughing with me. Number 2 on the list, Recognizing Other Players. Recognizing other players is a huge issue for me. For some reason, I just can't seem to spot other players until it's too late. I'm not sure if it's my screen, or my eyes, or just my brain, but when I play, I tend to get super focused on what's in front of me, and I don't even notice other players around me. It's like I get tunnel vision, and that's a real problem. <laughs> I've tried to be more aware of other players, but with everything going on in the game, it's hard to keep an eye out for them. And when I finally do spot someone, it's usually too late. Most players just walk up to me and start shooting or hitting before I even know what's going on. It's frustrating because I really never feel like I get a chance to defend myself. I usually spend most of my time in official servers, and we all know what that's like. I get that PvP is part of the game and it's kill or be killed on most servers, why can't we just work together and survive? I've encountered players who will attack me without even saying a word, or while I'm busy fighting off zombies. But that's just the reality of the game. It's survival of the fittest, and some players will stop at nothing to ensure their survival and take your shit. I just need to be more careful and keep my eyes peeled for other players. I just need to step up my game and be more cautious of my surroundings. Number 3. Inventory Management In DayZ, it's not just about surviving the zombies, it's also about surviving the harsh conditions, and that means having the right items to survive. But for me, managing my inventory is like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube while blindfolded. It seems like I'm always running out of space, or I'm carrying the wrong items, or the items aren't stacked, or I'm just not paying attention to what's in my inventory. Typically, I only have a vague idea what's actually in my inventory at any given moment. Believe me, I've tried to be more organized, but it's like my inventory has a mind of its own. I try to keep everything in order, and then boom, the next thing I know, it's all a mess. I feel like I'm always having to make decisions about what to keep and what to throw away, and I think, since I don't have a deep understanding of the game, I always seem to make the wrong decisions. I need to be more mindful of what I have, 
or what I may need, and I think that will come with more experience. I really need to start planning ahead and think about what I may need in the future. My main problem is I typically don't make sure that I have the right items for survival and I just carry around a lot of unnecessary items. The one thing I think is really surprising is that none of you in the comments have ever mentioned how bad I am at inventory management. Okay, so you guys have mentioned it a few times, but I am trying to learn the inventory management system and hopefully I'll be better in the future. Number four on the list, illnesses and injuries. I personally haven't had a ton of exposure to illnesses and injuries in the game. I've been sick here and there and I've broken some bones, but by no means am I a daisy medical expert. Every time I've been sick, I've really struggled with the medical system in the game. Not only do I not know how to treat injuries properly, but I'm also completely lost when it comes to illnesses. I have no idea what all the different illnesses and injuries are, what causes them, or how to treat them. It's like a whole other level of confusion for me. The pressure is high in DayZ, and when you're in a survival situation, you're often forced to make quick decisions. And let's be real, sometimes those decisions can lead to mistakes. The medical system in DayZ can be a bit overwhelming, especially for those of us who haven't played the game for very long. When I get sick, I panic and start looking online for a cure. Once I figure out the cure, now I have to actually go find the items to cure myself. I really need to familiarize myself with the different illnesses and injuries, as well as the proper way to treat them. But as we stand, the medical system in Daisy is something that I don't yet understand. But who knows, maybe one day I'll be able to heal myself without killing myself in the process. Until then, wish me luck. Number 5. Navigation Getting lost in Daisy is a real struggle. In the game, you definitely need your bearings if you want to survive, but for some reason it's a real problem for me. I've tried using the eyes of my map, but even that can be challenging for me. Yes, I know how to read a map, but trying to figure out where I am on the map takes forever. For some reason I can't process it, especially when I'm playing late at night. I've even made a video called I'm Fucking Lost that basically sums up my frustration. When I'm in the heat of the moment, like trying to survive, my focus is on just getting through the moment and surviving. I don't stop and think about where I am or where I'm going, I just react and keep moving. And that's fine for the moment, but it's not great for long term survival. I've also tried using a compass and attempted to navigate by the sun, but to be honest, neither of those worked for me. What makes it most difficult is that most places I go in Daisy are new and unfamiliar. I need to start noticing landmarks and making sure I always know where I am. I think the key to getting better at navigation in DayZ is just to keep playing, to keep paying attention to my surroundings and to be mindful of where I am and where I'm going. It's a survival game and survival requires understanding of your environment and knowing how to get around. It's time for me to start using my own instincts and making a conscious effort to figure out where I am at all times. I think with the more time and exposure to the maps, I'll start learning my way around, but until then, you can all laugh at my expense. So there you have it, the top 5 reasons why I suck at DayZ. But don't worry, I'm not giving up just yet. I'll keep trying and learning, and maybe one day, I'll be a pro. But for now, I'll just stick to being the comic relief for all you seasoned players. So if you see me out wandering around, lost and confused, or sick and hungry, or fighting off zombies or other players, just give me a friendly wave and a little, you got this old dude. But for now, I'll just stick to surviving as best I can, and maybe, just maybe, I'll get a little better each day. If you like this video, 
please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Stay tuned for my next video, and until then, have a great day. And I'm dead! Ah!